Now that you have your blood bag, we need to talk about deploying the blood from it. The seam is the weakest part of the bag. This is where the bag is going to burst, and this is where the blood is going to come from. Depending on what you need from your effect is where you place the seam. If you want the blood to spurt away from the body, have the seam pointing out away from the palm of the hand. If you want to specifically place the blood somewhere, like on a costume, on an arm, a face, another body part, have the seam facing in towards the palm so all the blood stays in your hand and you can place it where you wish. When you're bursting the bag, you need to put pressure on it. Soft body parts aren't going to put enough pressure on the bag to burst reliably. So you want to use your fingers to squeeze and add extra pressure. You can control the direction by squeezing from the top down, making the blood come out the opening at the bottom of your hand, or from the bottom up, making the blood spurt upwards away from your hand. So those are the choices you have. The seam facing outwards to spurt away from the palm, inwards to have more control of placement, or down or up. What I'm going to do is place this to have it spurt out and down into this bowl as an example. This is blood syrup, so the spurt is going to be a very goopy, kind of droopy spurt. And that's it. So finding ways to deploy your blood bag depends on what story you're trying to tell. But that you do have some directional control of your bag, and then be sure to hide the trick afterwards. Nothing ruins it more than seeing this just drop in front of the audience.